Hey friends of golfers, Eric Schulber, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. I want to talk to you a little bit today about something that I'm huge on, um, pivot. The way we rotate, I'm not going to get into real technical on it today, but I'm just going to talk about it a little bit in generalities and why, you know, if you come see me and I see a bad pivot, I'm going to work on it. Um, you know, to start with, and this is just, you know, experience of what I've seen over the years in teaching is that I don't see anybody that has a bad pivot that's a really good golfer, okay? Now, I do know some people that their pivot isn't really good, but yet they can play some good golf. But the key is they can. They don't always, okay? So they're very unstable. It's the guy that you go that shoots 78 one day, and next day he's, ah, oh, I can't figure it out, I shot 96 today. Because he's having to make up so much with his hands trying to figure out timing. You know, he may be up and down, he may be swaying. So it makes it really hard. I, I, I always tell my students this, golf is, uh, I think, pretty difficult. I don't think it's natural, our movements that we make, uh, because there's nothing in life that we do bent over like this, okay? We're always standing up doing something in front of us or we're sitting down and doing something in front of us. We don't ever just go, okay, I'm gonna be here. Hey, how are you doing over there? And shake hands over here. It's, it's just, it's foreign to us, right? So we have to really work on this pivot. And, you know, and people don't want to, but if they commit 15 minutes a day, to working on this pivot. I'm gonna show you real simply what we do here, right? We'll stand up real straight here. I'm gonna show you where we wanna get on our backswing. We're just gonna just turn. All I'm doing is turning. Let's just turn everything. Now I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna produce it. Side tilt, there's my tilting. I'm gonna tilt down, see that? And now I'm in a perfect position there for my backswing. So then I will practice it here. Let's see, hey, that, am I matching it, right? So here, here, okay, that feels pretty good. I think I got it. Now I'm gonna go. And for me, I'm feeling a pressure into my trail heel that I'm pushing into my trail heel. We can't get on our outside of our foot like this because look where it moves our low point. Then we gotta slide all the way back, okay? So we push, I push hard into here, okay? And I, I don't move much off the ball. Now the pros don't either, they may move an inch inch and a half off this way, but guess what? They've recentered by the top. They're, they don't do what most amateurs do is go like this, or even most amateurs. They're still finishing, most amateurs are still finishing their backswing. They're so far back, this thing's over, it's too late. You have a second, a little over a second of swing. I'm gonna say it's 0.8 of that is your backswing. You're dead <laughs> if you're back here in 0.2. Tell me how you're gonna get to that big a golfer. You're not, it's just not gonna happen, okay? so. Pivot, I showed you how to do it from the front. Here's kind of like from the side what we're looking at. I know another good way is this, if you have this in here, like I got it there, and then just try to turn until this kind of gets right over the top of it. See that there? Now, I don't want to pivot off much. I'm not, I'm not falling forward, but I don't want to be back here. I, I do not want, I want to keep my low point pretty much close right over the ball so I can just pivot and be right back on top of it like that, covering it, okay? That's the pivot, so kind of from here, now we just try to do the same thing. Here, feel pretty good about pivot, and I'm gonna come down here, right? So, you know, a lot of, a lot of what I'll see is this. Could be a CD spectrum, but then I see that coming up. So first move, so something common you see with every single pro is this move from the top. This shoulder staying down while they go into the left side, and then we go around. There's never this move that a pro does this. Okay, I see that all the time. That's why people are topping the ball all the time because their club is coming up. I will see on my track, man, numbers of the club moving up, meaning the low point is behind the ball, so the club is traveling up. And they'll say, oh, I picked my head up. And actually, no, if this is, <laughs> let's say this is the ball right here. coming down like this, low point behind. Look at this, the club's gonna be traveling up. That's why a lot of you guys top out there, okay? Remember the low point, and I'm getting a little bit off topic here, I start talking and I get going, but it is in front of the ball, probably four inches for this iron with this attack angle down, okay? So we hit the ball first and then the ground, okay? If I were you, if you're having trouble hitting behind, I would start looking five inches ahead of the ball. Tell your mind, that's where I want to come down. I don't want to come down at the ball and be done with it then. 
Then I have the loft, whatever the club is set to. I'm not hitting in the right place on the club if I'm not, because I need to be coming in like this. That way I catch it probably on the third groove down, which is meant to, and I'm drive, driving around, okay? So simply put, I mean, I, I think a great way to feel this is heels together, toes apart, okay? Um, just kind of turn, turn, okay? Good way to just feel what we're doing here. Turn, turn. Oh, pretty good numbers in the track, man. Path of one six, base of a point two, attack angle down five, and my low point was almost five inches in front of the ball. So I cannot stress enough how important it is that you work on this pivot drive into these, in the inside here. And then we can explode, chest is down, and then I come up, okay? Watch some of my videos on early extension if you're struggling with doing this, okay? Remember, that's early extension. What it, we want to have extension in our swing. We just don't want it early. We want it here, okay? So what early extension is not supposed to happen here. It's supposed to happen here, our extension. So something to think about, right? It's not that complicated, really. We need to feel more of just staying. We had a laser right here coming out, but uh, or if we just thought of our belt buckle staying more down like here, and then we come up and extend, then we'd be okay. Another topic for another day. I cannot stress enough though, if you can work on your pivot, get it five, if you even do three sets of 10 to 15 of these a day, do them in a mirror, you have to have feedback. I've seen too many students go, oh yeah, I've been working on it all week, and they come to me like this. I'm like, oh no, you can't, that's terrible. So let me know if you have any questions or leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, Eric Schulberg, EJSGolf, EJSGolf.com. Thank you for watching, take care.